Real estate is an extremely important market to keep an eye on. There are many indicators to watch within this market alone. I'm not talking about REIT stocks, I'm talking about real estate, the real stuff. Home flipping is a good bellwether for the market because they're more in tune rather than individuals who move based on personal needs or desires. So what's going on today? You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we're going to look at several factors going on in the real estate market in the United States at the very end. I'm going to touch on Singapore, so stay tuned for a very important video. The real estate market is very interesting if you ask me. We can go around into most major cities and see people making the same mistakes over and over and over again. They get themselves in over their head. They talk to the person at the bank and say, you know, well, we can't really afford this, but is there anything you can do here based on the numbers? Can you squeeze it a little here? Can you do something over there? And they always find a way. They will get you into that home because they want to make a sale. You have to go into this approaching it differently. Your real estate agent is a salesman. Your mortgage broker is a salesman. They are selling you a product or a service and so that's what they do. I understand this guy's your friend. He was your previous this and that from that business or the friend with the cousin and this and that. I understand what this is all about. However, everyone has to eat. They need to do what they do and that means getting you inside that home. I'm going to talk about house flipping first because this is always getting to the point where they are getting carried away all the time. Here's one consequence of the slowing U.S. housing market. Home flippers are heading for the exits. Homes that were resold within 12 months after being repurchased made up 7.2% of all transactions in the first quarter. That's the biggest share since the start of 2010. So while that's going on, the actual return on investment had dropped to an almost eight year low, it's still 39%. However, looking at this tells us that their profits are dwindling. And so there are some more facts along with that that I want you to see. Speculators are on the housing market's front lines where softening price growth, waning demand, and longer times to sell can quickly turn into shrinking profits or even losses. Purchases of previously owned homes fell 4.4% in April. That's the 14th straight year over year decline. This is the statistic I've been showing you consistently now and it is happening time and time and time again. This isn't changing, okay? So that is something that you need to be really paying attention to. This is just a chart that corresponds to this shrinking returns profit on home flips fell to an almost eight year low in the first quarter. Just trying to give you the visual as well. Now this is directly from Adam. Adam is A-T-T-O-M. They provide some very good statistics surrounding this. I've shown you the interactive charts they have on their website before. Many good things available here for free for everybody to check out. Link will be in the description. With interest rates dropping and home price increases starting to ease, investors may be getting out while the getting is good before the market softens further. While home flipping rate is increasing, gross profits and ROI are starting to weaken and the number of investors that are flipping is down 11% from last year. So this means that investors are seeing their profit margins drop. They may be acting now, selling before the price increases drop even more. What I've covered in the previous article, this basically just tells you what's happening. They break it down by area. If you want to see each local market, how that is affecting perhaps where you live. And this is an indicator that people need to watch, not just if they're real estate investors, of course, but it just gives you a sign of what's happening in the economy. U.S. home flipping trends. The blue lines are the single family home and condos flipped. That just shows you what's occurring. And the red line, the home flipping rate. That's a percent of total sales. Obviously, these are always fluctuating, but it just gives you a chance to look at the trends. Home flipping profit trends. You can see that this has been declining for quite a while. Looks like all the way back into 2018 where it peaked out and has been dropping ever since.
I wanted to turn the page over to another issue related to real estate and that is one area that has done very well Silicon Valley and we have seen businesses come up all of these unicorn companies being developed this is one area where the real estate has gone considerably higher becoming so unaffordable to the majority of people even for those that live there but in this article here getting fabulously wealthy in Silicon Valley, no coding required. What they are discussing is the real estate developers. This particular company that they discuss in here basically only goes with one client buildings. They build this, they then get a company like a Google or a Microsoft or an Apple to lease this for a long period of time and they can actually weather any storms when there's a downturn and so on. On. this is what their business is and they have become very wealthy as a result no coding required these are just some of the buildings that they show in this article here we're looking at Microsoft and Google and so on all of these big institutions that have purchased such massive properties and there are companies that are making big profits as a result there's a chart that corresponds to this. Look at this, Silicon Valley vacancy. Vacancy rates in Silicon Valley fallen steadily over the past decade. You can see that this has gone down to a level of under 10%, whereas it was 18% during the financial crisis. This American city has the most vacant homes. I'd like you to take a guess what you think is the city with the most vacant homes homes all right so I'm gonna scroll down here I'm gonna show you for yourself if you go through you can see that the vacancy rate in 2018 for the United States is 1.52 percent to me that seems actually very low but if you just go through here it gives you in percentage terms it gives you all the numbers and the population and so on but if you had to guess what do you think it would be right now I'm scrolling through looking at the right hand side Gary Indiana is 19 percent and I think that is the highest Flint Michigan is at about 16 percent and Detroit is at 11 percent so there are some names that you probably do recognize of course looking at Hilton Head Island South Carolina 16.9 percent these are areas that have been hit hard for one reason or another and unfortunately for these people here that remained or for whatever reason they simply had assets here it is not a very good thing when so many people are leaving the prices obviously get really depressed and it only further compounds the issue and then to quickly touch on Singapore they have 24,000 empty apartments and another 44,000 being built this is what you call an oversupply they're not going to admit it but that's what's going on today if you build them all up right now they sit empty that of course is applying a downward force onto the prices of property people spend a lot of money to buy places in Singapore this would mean a devastating crash for the market and this is just basic supply and demand fundamentals it has nothing to do with any recession or anything like this Singapore is generally regarded as one of the strongest places in the world but of course if they do this and they actually are able to produce this many places and they don't see a rather large influx of people coming in and buying them up particularly at a time when things are slowing down globally Globally, they're gonna be in trouble that's all for this video if you found it informative please hit that like button if you want the financial education you were not taught in school these two books have everything you need from top to bottom A to Z you can get all the details at the link in the description if you want the audiobook that's available at themoneygps.com if you want to know some very important indicators to watch out for, you definitely want to watch this video. It is receiving a lot of views in a short period of time. Click on it and I will see you there.